So what is chelation? Well, chelation therapy has been used for 50 years as a method of reducing the plaques and the narrowings in arteries throughout the body. And it does this by uh, removing some of the heavy metals, iron, cadmium, uh, lead through these plaques and actually excreting them through the kidneys. It's one yeah. of the only therapies that's been proven to actually reverse the process of arteriosclerosis yeah. that accounts for strokes and heart attacks and poor circulation mm -hmm. in the extremities. So this is actually a slide of somebody getting chelation therapy and what's that bottle dripping in there? That's the intravenous solution comprised mainly of uh, a synthetic amino acid called EDTA which binds the heavy metals and is also an antioxidant. And this combination of effects is very effective in removing the heavy metals and toxic uh, components in the arterial walls and it's excreted directly into the urine within about six hours. Okay, uh, basically it's an IV that gets dripped into the vein. This is a, a synthetic uh, amino acid. That's right. Uh, and how did they find out that this would help and deplaque the arteries? Well, initially it was used, uh, they were searching for a method to uh, uh, remove lead and lead toxicity after World War II. Yeah. And they discovered by this treatment that it also had significant effects in reducing the... Because it was lead painters, wasn't it? They were actually painters doing the lead paint. And that yes. was being around the paint, got into their blood and gave them lead poisoning. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And over the years of doing this, they discovered that it had even better effects on reversing uh, cardiovascular disease. So they found that some of those people that they were treating for, to detoxify them of lead poisoning, actually cleared out some of their arteries and their, their atherosclerosis would improve or some other uh, uh, heart, heart condition would improve. That's true. Yeah. Uh, this individual is uh, undergoing a uh, procedure called intravenous chelation therapy chelation therapy. This is a, a process to uh, reverse and prophylax the effects of cardiovascular disease or atherosclerosis. Uh, it, uh, what it does is specifically in that intravenous solution is a synthetic amino acid called EDTA. EDTA and this binds heavy metals and it cleans them up from the plaques in the arteries all over the body as it circulates around in this intravenous infusion. The infusion lasts about three hours, and then we're done. Uh, the dose is calculated according to her kidney function and her body weight. And we do these about once a week, and the full course includes 20 sessions. Uh, but this procedure has been done in this country and the world now for about 50 years, and there have been about a million people who have experienced these treatments just in the United States alone, many more in Europe, Canada, and Australia. Uh, this uh, treatment... Uh, is uh, felt to work by uh, removing the heavy metals and calcium in the plaques and reducing the size of the plaques so there's better flow through the brain, the heart, and the entire body. And by doing so, it uh, uh, actually uh, extends the, uh, 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 the ability of the body to handle all insults and improve circulation. So Dr. Gertler, the idea of dripping this IV into someone's vein, how does that bind with heavy metals and take them out? What the EDTA does is that it has, in its chemical structure, it has attachment points uh, for most of the heavy metals, iron, lead, cadmium, arsenic, all the heavy metals that are known to be associated with heart disease and the formation of plaques. Yeah. And it binds them very, very avidly and removes them right from the plaque directly as it's circulating through the blood after the intravenous solution. And where, where are they excreted through? through and it's excreted right into the urine, right, right into, into the urine. The urine. Yeah. Uh, most of it is excreted within the first six hours. Yeah, so this is pretty remarkable, the idea to have a, 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 a natural therapy as, as an alternative to going under the knife, the idea of having surgery for, or you know, um, you know, something to, to, for, the, for bypass is, is pretty remarkable. How many treatments do you need before it starts to become effective for, say, our heart disease or reduction of you know, stroke risk? Well, the standard recommendation is about 20 uh, once per week treatments, each lasting an infusion of three hours. So it's a steady thing over a 20 week period. Yeah. Yes. And you sit in a nice comfy chair for, for 30 minutes, read a magazine, have a chat with the person next to you. And That's right. So it's not an unpleasant, it looks unpleasant. That's right. I There's mean, no the pain idea at of all. IV, no yeah. pain at all, yeah. yeah.
So this isn't something that's been unstudied, is just coming, you know, there's something that's going on in Mexico and now happening in NATO. There's a very large study underway right now, isn't, isn't there, by the yes. National Institute of Health? Yes, and it's also, uh, the main arm of that study is also ACAM, uh, which teaches uh, physicians uh, how to... That's the American College for the Advancement of uh, Medicine. Medicine, right. Yeah. They're administering... They're all physicians. That's right. Yeah, they're all medical doctors. That's right. And they've run their own studies, and there have been many, many studies published in the literature, double-blind, randomized controls, uh, some as many as 2,400 patients at a time, right. which demonstrate the uh, success rate, about 85% of this technique. How does detoxifying heavy metals help more chronic neurological problems? That's very interesting. Uh, as the years progress, we are learning that uh, toxicity, especially that of heavy metals, is a large component of many, many chronic degenerative diseases, especially the chronic neurodegenerative disease, such as Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, ALS, fibromyalgia, uh, chronic fatigue syndrome. It may not be the only cause, but it certainly is a very important cause. And if you can detoxify these by removing them, whether by chelation or other means, you've done the patient a great service. 